What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a first impressions from the house of John Paul Gaultier and this one is called Le Bleu. And so just take a look at this card and sample guys. So let's read that up. Don't remember where I got this but we're going to go ahead and jump right into this guys. So let me break this uh, fragrance down, the notes. Tell you guys a little bit more about the house and then we'll go ahead and get spraying guys okay so john paul gutier le bleu is a 2019 release it is an eau de toilette concentration and is classified as a woody aromatic for men the top notes are bergamot the mid notes are coconut and the base notes are tonka bean so guys um put my little notes down um my son of the day today is Tom Ford's Ombre Leather EDP. I'll have a review for you guys soon within this week, guys. Uh, checkmate, I got you, man. So, yeah, guys, look at this little sample vial. I think it's a 1.5 milliliter sample. And I'm thinking this is going to be like a summertime fragrance. So, let's go ahead and spray it on my right wrist. Love the spray on this. Ooh, I can smell that. It smells good. It smells good already. Yep. This is very, very mainstream. Very, very massa pleasing. Massa pleasing. Mass pleasing. Hmm. This is reminding me of a fragrance. John Paul Gaultier scandal. There you go. I don't remember if it's the EDT or the EDP, EDP, but it's reminded me of one of those. There's this nice citrus opening, and I can definitely get that Tonka bean, guys. There is a definite coconut smell in here. Doesn't it, it, the coconut in here is not? It's not suntanish. It's not sunscreen vibe, but definitely male. Definitely for the summertime, if I was to, you know, if you want to classify this as a uh, thing, guys, a summertime for sure. And it's pretty linear, guys. I mean, it's not really changing much. I'm not expecting it to change a lot right now since this is just the first impressions, but I mean, it's pretty good. Now, does it smell like the other John Paul Gaultier fra uh, fragrances? Kind of, because uh, you know some of the, uh, uh, at least the, um, well, not the Lamal, not the Lamal, not the uh, not the one with the gold cap on it, guys. See, I keep forgetting the name of that, but it's not as sweet. This one is more fresh and citrus, with some coconut in there. The coconuts not like the forefront here but i can really pick up on the tonka bean it's it's kind of sweet guys it's like a little powdery sweet it's like a powdery sweetness definitely not as weirdly sweet as the uh, giorgio armani's uh code the parfum that i had did a first impressions on a couple weeks ago but it's actually really it's nice very designer smelling um I don't really see how anybody could really hate on this, really. It just smells good. It smells clean. It smells fresh. A little citrus. It's a little sweet. That's pretty much it, guys. I wasn't expecting a lot from this fragrance, and honestly, there's really not a lot um, from what I can say. It's a little boring to me, to be honest, because uh, I really like niche, but uh, this one's actually, it's all right. It's decent. I don't think I'll pick up a bottle. I will save the rest of the sample though. So I can maybe do a full review of it. But yeah, guys, that is my first impressions of John Paul Gaultier's Le Bleu. I hope you guys like this uh, first impressions. Got some more stuff coming for you guys. Thank you so much for the support. My channel is growing like it should. And uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching Long Sense. I'm your host, Dr. Goo. I'll catch you later. See ya.